To complete our look for the boys' room, we're going to make some tab top curtains. Firstly, to measure the window, you take the from the rod down to where you want the hem to be and write that measurement down. And then from where you want the curtain to end to the middle of the window, or if it's a double window, you would do one whole window, and you write that measurement down. The top to bottom measurement, we're going to add two inches because the tabs will make three more inches, so we'll have plenty for our hems. And then the width measurement, we are going to multiply it times 1.5 and add four inches. Sometimes when I say math, these still shutters come down over everyone's brain and they shut down, but this is very easy to figure out. And God forbid I say geometry, because then the rest of the still shutters that haven't already come down, come down. But quilting and a lot of sewing is just geometry in motion. So we have our, our width measurement and our height measurement. And these are detailed in your printable instructions on the CD. I made little tab curtains so that you could see what was going on. And these are directional, so on my top seam, I'm going to draw a line with a pencil, a chalk liner, an erasable marker, some drawing implement. I never use ink pens because they can do things to you. But I'm going to draw a line two inches down on the whole top edge, two inches from the side on each side, and on the bottom, three inches up. First we're going to do the side hems, and you turn them in an inch and press, and then turn it in another inch and press, and you're going to seam the sides by sewing close to the fold along both sides. When you have both sides seamed, then we'll do the bottom hem, and we have our three inch line, so we fold it up to the three inches, and then so that we don't have kind of ugly corners on the bottom of our hems, we're going to turn in the corners like this, and then turn it up and hem this along, close along this top fold. And we do the same with the top. Our sides are already hemmed. We turn it down the one inch, and then we turn our corners, because this makes a miter, and turn it down another inch and hem that. So we have a completely hemmed big piece of fabric. The next thing to do to the tab top curtain is make the tabs. I've cut the tabs four by eight inches. You put them right sides together and you will seam them quarter inch along the length. So it will look like this. Now I'm all for speeding up processes and making them easier and more fun. So to turn things like this I use a tube turner. This is from my fast turn set. So I place the tube on here and I'm going to put the top of the fabric over a little bit. Put my wire inside. There we go. And I'm twirling to the right until I see that little wire come out. Once it comes out, then I'm just, to release the wire, I twist to the left. Before you put the tab on, you will want to press these so that the seam is to the back. So it's nice and flat. On the curtain, so that you can make sure these are all the same measurement, what I did was lay my curtain on a gridded mat so that I could see one, two, three. I want three inches sticking up from the top edge of the curtain. Then I've taken this and folded it in half 
And to measure where the tabs are, they're approximately 8 inches apart, but you take the width measurement and you divide it by 8. And my curtain, my large curtain that I just threw on the floor, my light, large curtain that I made was 60 inches wide. I divided that by 8 and got 7.5, which I rounded up to 8 tabs, so I made 8 tabs. And they ended up being, because you put one on both ends, so you, you want it to go right on the edge. You have them on both ends, and then they're evenly spaced out in between there. And mine ended up being, I made a mark every seven and a half inches and placed the center of the tab at the seven and a half inches. But to place the tabs and make sure they're all the same length, on the mat, I lined up the top edge of the curtain. I have a little mark where I want the tab to go. And three inches, one, two, three, above the top edge of the curtain, I'm placing the tab and I'm pinning it on. After I've pinned the tab on, I want to sew it up here close to the top edge. Then when it's sewn to the top edge, which this one I'm just going to pin so I can show you, I have this dangling raw edge that I don't really like. So that's going to get tucked under, pinned, and sewn across. Curtain weights are something that I always seem to forget when I'm purchasing supplies to make curtains. And a lot of times, even on simple tab tops like these, you need weights on either end to make them hang beautifully. So this is on your, this is a rather crazy tip. But this is how I do it. Is I take a two by four inch piece of fabric and I use, do use the panel fabric because we're going to sew it on there. Put right sides together, seam both sides, and then I have a little, it makes a little um, pocket. So I have a little pocket. And well, this is going to cost you. I put five pennies in. My friend who had a boutique next to our store didn't cut off her salvages when she was making her dressing room curtains, so in the center they kind of hiked up, and she wanted to pull them down, so I told her about my little trick, but she didn't want to sew a little bag, so she just took a very small Ziploc, put 15 cents in it, and pinned it to the inside of the curtain, and somebody stole the little bag with the 15 cents in it which we laugh about and tell uh, because we certainly would have given someone 15 cents if they needed it that badly. So now we have our little money bag and on this side I've already sewn one so you can see how when I'm holding it up how nicely that hangs you take the little money bag and we're going to sew the top edge on first. So we're turning that back so the raw edge is turned in and making sure it doesn't extend past the bottom or side hem. Pinning it on. And then you sew straight across that top edge. After you've sewn the top edge, you sort of have to shake the pennies down to the other side to sew on the bottom edge. And you have a wonderful five cent curtain weight. I know you'll enjoy making these tab top curtains for that special little boy.